Hi everybody, this is Kefren, your favorite French Canadian. Today I'm gonna review the Pro X Super Light 2. A lot of hype on this mouse, so I decided to order it and do some testing. Right now, my main is the Pulsar X2 V2. So I did a one week test with this mouse and I'm pretty impressed and I will tell you why. First of all, I want to talk about the price. $219 Canadian, that's a lot for a mice. But a mouse, sorry, but still, uh, for me, the performance are there. So we're gonna talk a little bit about it. So let's talk about the um, uh, the uh, build quality. Uh, no crackling, no flex. It's very well built. It's a 60 gram mouse wireless. Uh, you can do a 95 hours uh, when you are in the movement, but when I, I was using it with the uh, dongle at 2K, so 2000 Hertz uh, for the polling rate, I was getting something like 75 hours, so a little bit different. If I want to talk about the click, the click are amazing i think it's the best click on the market right now i'm using optical switch with the uh, pulsar and i'm not a fan of it i prefer the u101 so the older version from uh, pulsar but this one is currently for for real the left click and the right clicks are the same so you don't feel the difference between both it's tight it's precise you don't it like you don't feel any traveling i really really like it if we're talking about side button it's a different story i see a lot of the traveling the feeling is weird it's very mushy so uh for an example for me uh, the click are like a 9 9.5 on 10 and the side uh, clicks are something like 6 on 10 so i'm not a fan of it if we're talking about the mouse wheel over there, the mouse wheel, I really like it. Also, it's a 9 on 10 for me, one of the best on the market. But I don't like when you press on it. The feel is very weird. It's short. You don't feel that you're clicking. So uh, I, when I play FPS, I like to put my grenade on there. And it's, it's, it's a bit weird, but you're going to get used to for sure. If we look under it, you can still... You have your magnetic here uh, old if you want to put your... Uh, dongle over there uh, the, the, the feet the skate are pretty trash honestly uh, I don't know why they're still using that definitely change it use the super glide in, uh, in glass or something else uh, but the I, I, at this price honestly they really need to work on the feet the glide is pretty bad honestly it's a 5 on 10 if I compare with other mouse so I'm not a huge fan of it the thing is this mouse for me it's for palm grab uh, grabber like if you're, you're using a palm grip this is pretty much the perfect mouse right now on the market but if you're a claw gripper or fingertip like me it's too long the way that they, they finish the, the end of the mouse over there uh the back of the mouse uh, i don't like the feel of it I, I really prefer the x2 v2 from balsar or the x2 uh, h but or if you have a very big and like something like 20 centimeter and more probably you can like do a good claw grip on it but if you're a palm gripper honestly don't look anywhere else this mouse is amazing uh, if we talk a little bit about the dongle so you're getting a nice dongle over there it's compatible uh, with the 2000 polling rate as i said uh the, the 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 build quality is nice but i don't like the cable it's not flexible as you can see i, uh, I like with the pulsar one you're getting a nice paracord and this one is not great so if, for example i put my uh don't go like as this you see that the pressure gonna turn a little bit my uh don't go like this so not a huge fan, honestly. They should definitely change the cable. Maybe it's for durability, but still not a fan of it. So all around, it's it's tough to say. If you have the money, definitely buy it. If you currently have a GPX and you don't know if you need to switch for the 2K polling rate, it's not worth it, honestly. Yes, you're seeing it, but it's not something... Maybe change your monitor first. <laughs> buy an OLED monitor with a 240 or something like that. But it's not a game changer. But if your GPX is completely broken and you wear you you wear it out, definitely you should buy this mouse. It's very good. Uh, if you prefer claw gripping or fingertip, honestly, go with Pulsar. I think they are better mouse for claw gripper because of the shape. So if you have any question on this Logitech GPX2, ask me anything about it. I will try to help you the best that I can. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Peace.